and we got a fun one today. We are pumping into the Schling Glacing Boom over there with the Putzmeister concrete pump over here. A little bit of a uh, interesting part of town. We call it uh, character. This is the character of downtown Vancouver right here, right in the heart of it. Uh, anyhow, we have our grout on site and we are going to prime out here pretty soon. This is the first prime out for this place and boom setup. Uh, previous pours we have been pouring from the back alley and reaching the boom directly into the place and boom. But this is our first time plugging into the hard line and through the uh, diversion valve and all that other good stuff. So we'll uh, check in here once it is prime time. Right here, we'll do a brief tour of the pump truck unit. Uh, this pump has the uh, 13 HPD high pressure kit, optional high pressure pump kit. We'll climb up here for a little work. Excuse me, sir. So the beauty of this pump kit is it's got these nice big drive cylinders. Same drive cylinders as what's used on a BSA 14000 and uh, BSA 2100 pressure. Big drive cylinders, great big uh, tie rods, flanking the uh, water box to the hopper. It's got the big heavy water box too. So it's not just your uh, typical pump where they flip the lines around to uh, the piston side. This thing's actually beefed up that it can pump all day long, max volume at high pressure. Got the uh, big heavy hopper on it too, which is the same as the, or similar to the BSA 2110. Big heavy shift cylinders as well. The only major difference with this pump kit is it runs a nine inch material cylinder versus an eight inch on the uh, most of the BSA series pumps. So this one on the piston side is uh, 130 bar pump pressure. Mechanically, it's capable of much, much more, but they uh, they detune the pressure quite a bit just for longevity of the pump cell because of those larger nine-inch uh, material cylinders and piston cups. Yeah, it's been a really good pump for us. Rolls around, it's a 39-meter pump all day long, and then you can pluck the boom off it and throw it on a high-rise and, and do that kind of work too. Uh, the reason we are pumping through the swing boom today is because the boom that belongs to this pump is actually on a, uh, another job set of ours permanently, so. Anyhow, back to pumping. Here we are, we're still uh, still waiting on concrete. We don't put the grout through until we've got the concrete ready to go right behind. So one thing they do, in the bucket, we're gonna pump the grout into the bucket, but always in the bottom of the bucket, they'll put a piece of poly. Otherwise the, uh, the grout will just infinitely leak through. The bucket doesn't seal tight enough to hold grout. It's just, just too wet, too viscous. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Just pump out that first meter of grout into the bucket and then swing over and start filling the deck with good old regular concrete. So what you'll notice here, what we like to do, is fill the hopper. So it's about a third of the way up the barrels. Can you see that? The water is a third of the way up to the cylinders. And then we'll put the grout in here nice and wet. Push that first bit of water in the barrels ahead of the grout. And then, uh, because we can only get one truck at a time with a pump here, we're just going to have to fill the hopper with grout, pump it down, and then follow with concrete. Typically, we would have two trucks back to the pump. We take a hopper full of grout, and then we would start blending the concrete with whatever grout is left coming out of that first mixture, just so there's a nice smooth transition instead of going straight from grout to concrete. Just to mitigate any chance of segregation or plugging. But uh, unfortunately today we don't have that luxury, but we will make it work for the
Alright, here we go, Tony. Come on. is through. We'll fill that bucket and then uh, as we get into the regular concrete we'll start pouring the deck. This four one meter swing boom will have just enough reach to get to the far corner there. Got to give a special thanks to our friends at Normat Concrete Pumping for uh, so graciously providing a rental of this piece of equipment to us. The yeah, typical 36 or 38 meter boom we would end up uh, needing to run probably a couple lengths of the hose for this deck. So this is uh, just about the perfect size piece of equipment for this job anyhow. It does come up a little bit short on that far corner there. We're probably going to need a hose when we get over to that other side of the site. Um, but 41 is as big as they get uh, before you get into stuff that's uh, not self-climbing, etc., etc. So, quite happy with this piece. There we go. Let's get to that corner there. And the last two series from that 41 meter room. The nice thing about the uh, 13 inch PD pump kit, the 9 inch barrels, get a little bit more volume out of it. And uh, spray that concrete a little bit further, with less strokes and a little less boom bounce. So. Anyhow, that's pretty much it for today. We should get to hang out for uh, low down time, but gotta hit the road. C'est la vie.